Hello everyone, how are you all? Today we will discuss about uh, the geometry, the basic geometrical ideas. So, the geometry has been from the ancient history. The geometry has a long and rich history. The term geometry is in English the equivalent word to the word geometron in Greek. In Greek, geometron there are two terms here one is geo which means earth in english and metron which means measurement so overall from the geometron the greek word the geometry the term is derived now what is the use of geometry yes we will be using this geometry in various fields like engineering architecture and uh, the arts and uh, several other type of uh, fields. Here today we will be learning about the very basics of this geometry. Let us understand the different words and the basic ideas of geometry today. Let us understand the different meanings and how we will represent this point, line, segment, line, ray and angles. Now, a point is just a dot on the plane and this point can be represented by a, a English letter, capital English letter you need to represent. A point can be a point A or point P or point X or point Y or point Z etc. You can represent by capital letter of English alphabets that is point point you can take an example as a, a, a tip of a pen okay sharp uh, edge of a uh, uh, end point of a uh, end of uh, the needle etc and if you move on to a straight line this is uh, you can say it as a uh, point P. Here this is point A and let us uh, see a line segment. A line segment is uh, with uh, two end points it will be having two end points and if you join with a line it is called a line segment. The first end point here this is second end point the overall you can represent this line segment as A B and you need to write a, a line on the two points this is the initial point and this is the end point of course uh, that is fixed length it will having a 
fixed length, fixed measure and then we have a straight line. You can extend uh, this uh, two, two points towards uh, both directions in opposite uh, directions then if you extend this uh, this side and if you extend this towards right side then this particular line is uh, this particular line segment or line this is called line seg line now straight line and this straight line is represented by ab upon the symbol line and it don't have a fixed length it will be indefinite length it will be infinite or indefinite length there is no beginning point and there is no end point for this line and one more thing we are going to discuss is this is a straight line and now the part of the straight line you can assume as a, a ray there will be a initial point and there will be no end point and on that line you can mark any point you can represent this is a b and you must write it uh, in this format this is a ray and if you two rays if you joining two rays to the single common point suppose this is the common point o and o a is one ray and o b is another ray then o a and o b when you uh, when you join these two there will be an angle forming at o angle forming at o and that angle is represented by angle a o b or else a o b this is also the notation of angle so here we have discussed the different point like a point line segment straight line a ray and angle and here we have the different parts of uh, different types of uh, lines the lines uh, suppose if you are drawing a uh, lines here and another line which is intersecting here like this and suppose it is meeting this point p these two lines are called intersecting lines if the two lines are meeting at one single point their lines are called intersecting lines and one more thing these lines can be represented by small letters l m also and if uh, this is a line 1 l1 or l2 or l and m this l1 and l2 are intersecting lines and we have another type of lines like uh, a parallel lines which they which they don't intersect anywhere they extends indefinitely in all the directions let us see here say this is uh, uh, l1 and this is l2 and l2 l1 and l2 they are not meeting even though if you extend indefinitely they won't meet this kind of uh, lines are called uh, parallel lines we can take an uh, examples of uh, intersecting lines at a uh, crossroad and we can guess an example for a parallel line as the railway tracks 
Now time for practice. Here you can see a figure given there we need to find any 5 points and we need to find a line 4 rays and 5 line segments. So, based on the topics we discussed let us answer this question. As points any point, point is a small dot on a line or a plane. So, there are several points you can make any points. For example, the point, point B is there, point C is there and point O also is there and even point E. So, B, C, O and D, E these are the different points here from the figure and same way a straight line. Straight line is uh, you can take a straight line with the two points and both the points should be on straight line and the straight line should extend indefinitely it should not uh, stop. So, let us we have a straight line here you can see here you can say a straight line like DE ok you can represent as DE and uh, DB also you can represent DB also as a straight line you must write this notation and OB also you can write as well as OB as a straight line and now and like that you can have a, a different number of straight lines we cannot say OC is a straight line because there is a initial point there. So, it may be a ray, but it cannot be a straight line and you can see the notation of line. Now, the question for 4 rays the answer will be one initial point and any point on the line. So, you can assume it as a, you can see here O is initial point here and C or the other side it is extending. So, O C is can be a, an answer and even O B can be an answer for this and O A can be a ray. So, for two uh, here only three rays we got can we write O B as a, a ray yes of course and O E you can write as ray O E and even O D also you can write O is initial point and this side this direction that is extending that ray is extending. And now finally, the 5 line segments. So, you can write the 5 line segments with the 2 points. <coughs> the point can be O B 2 points if you are taking O B O B you can take a line segment of course, O A also you can take a line segment. D E also you can take D E this is a fixed length. When you are representing you must write the line on the top of the points and even O C also can be the answer for the line segment and even D B also you can write as a line segment and it has a fixed length. So, here students we hope uh, you understood the whole concept of the basic concept of the geometry now and uh, we will deal with uh, more other topics uh, in the future lessons. Thank you for watching please subscribe and like and share.